This is the story of King Midas, the man with the golden touch. Once there lived a rich king whose name was Midas. He had a beautiful daughter named Marigold, whose hair was the color gold. Now this King Midas liked gold more than anything else in the world. And it was his custom to spend part of every day in a dreary room in the basement where he counted his gold. One day, while Midas was in this basement room, a stranger appeared. You are a very wealthy man, King Midas, the stranger said. I've done pretty well, answered Midas. Pray, what would satisfy you, asked the stranger. Midas paused and thought. He had the feeling that this stranger had the power to grant any wish. I wish that everything I touch turn to gold. And are you sure that this would satisfy you, the stranger said. I ask nothing else to make me perfectly happy, answered Midas. So be it then, said the stranger. When you awake tomorrow morning, you will find yourself gifted with the golden touch. The following day, Midas leaped out of his bed. He seized one of the bedposts, and it immediately turned to gold. He took a book from the table and discovered that the pages became gold. In his garden were a great number of roses in full bloom. And using his magic touch, every individual flower was changed to gold. Midas was sitting at breakfast when his daughter came into the room crying. How now, little lady, said Midas. Pray, what is the matter with you this bright morning? Marigold held a rose Midas recently changed to gold.
beautiful, exclaimed her father. And what is there in this magnificent rose that makes you cry? She answered that she didn't like roses that had no fragrance. Midas tried to busy himself with breakfast, but unfortunately everything he touched became gold. His coffee, his toast, his eggs all became gold. Very pretty to look at, but not very tasty. King Midas was very hungry, and he groaned aloud. And Marigold, concerned for her father, hugged him. Midas bowed down and kissed her. My precious Marigold, he said. But Marigold did not answer. Oh, little Marigold became a golden statue. In despair, Midas saw the stranger standing near the door. Well, friend Midas, said the stranger, pray, how do you succeed with the golden touch? Midas shook his head. Gold is not everything, answered Midas. You're both richer and wiser than you were, King Midas, said the stranger. Tell me now, do you sincerely desire to rid yourself of this golden touch? It is hateful to me, replied Midas. Go then, said the stranger, and take some water from the river that glides past the bottom of your garden. Sprinkle it over any object that you may desire to change back again from gold. Midas snatched up the vase, and it became gold. Midas ran to the river, dipped the vase in the water, and the vase changed back from gold. Hurrying back to the castle, the king sprinkled water on the statue of Marigold. The girl changed back from gold and was a real little girl again. Many, many years later, when King Midas was an old man, he told Mary Go's children about this story. And to tell you the truth, my precious children, he would say, ever since that morning, I've loved no other gold than this.